Hey y'all, welcome to Homesteading Monday. My name is Gray Madden from Self Reliance Publishing, and today we're going to talk about a forestry technique called coppicing and a sister technique called pollarding. These techniques are essentially the same thing, and it's a forestry technique that's been practiced in Europe for centuries and centuries, but it's never really caught on, at least not to a big extent, here in the United States. It's a great technique because it allows the trees to come back more quickly than if you were to plant them from seed. Essentially what you do for coppicing is you just cut the tree down at the base and the stump will sh send up little shoots. And this technique works for most deciduous trees, most trees that lose their leaves in the fall. Most of your conifers or evergreens, you can't utilize this technique for. What happens is when you cut the tree down, you're leaving its root structure intact. So the tree is able to utilize the extensive root system it already has to pull up nutrients from the ground and invest all of those nutrients into shoots of new growth. And those shoots can grow up to be uh, big, strong trees again. What I have here is a small mulberry tree that's in my side yard. And I'm going to cut this down. I'll be able to use the wood for bushcraft projects as well as maybe put it in a rocket stove or something. And we're going to watch it come back. I'm cutting this one down because mulberry leaves are actually a great forage crop. And you can use it to feed chickens and if they'll eat them, rabbits and several other animals. It's uh, the mulberry leaves are great, have great nutritional value, a lot of protein, and it's a great alternative feed, so it's something that I want to experiment with. Uh, I've got a couple mulberry trees here in the yard, and so I'm going to use this coppicing technique to see if we can't get more growth out of it. In the process, I'll also receive more wood uh, for firewood or garden stakes, bows, arrows, what have you, uh, all kinds of bushcraft projects. There's not a whole lot to this technique, honestly. You just cut it off at the base for coppicing, and you wanna do that during the winter time or late fall after the tree's lost its leaves and before early spring when it grows its leaves back. Pollarding is essentially the technique. The only difference is you cut the tree further up on the trunk and the tree grows back from where you cut it. The Main reason to use a pollarding technique instead of coppicing is it puts the new growth up high out of reach of livestock if it's in a pasture or uh, out of reach of deer or other wildlife in a, in a wood scenario. So we're just going to grab our saw and cut it off right here at the base. This is an intentional coppicing, but it is an example of how trees will send up shoots from stumps when they've been cut back. If I let this go for a couple of seasons, it'll grow back to an even bigger and stronger tree than it was when I cut it down. This is another similar example here. If you've got a small woodlot that doesn't quite produce enough to fully heat your house in a sustainable manner, hopefully these techniques will be enough to push you over the edge or get you closer to self-sufficiency. I hope you've enjoyed this video and as always I appreciate every like, every comment, and every subscribe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.